Hi guys, so here we'll be cal we will be seeing on how to calculate uh, the degree of carbon atoms in a given organic compound and later on in the same uh, lecture we'll be seeing how to calculate the degree of alcohol and degree of alkylate. So let us take on some more examples into how to calculate the degree of uh, carbon atoms in a given compound. Okay, so let's say we have a compound something like this. So to calculate the demand of the degrees of carbon atoms. So for this carbon atom, I think the degree is one. For this carbon atom, the degree is two. For this carbon atom, the degree is one. Why? For this carbon atom, number of directly attached carbon atoms to this carbon atoms are two, one and two. For this carbon atom, number of directly attached carbon atom is one. So one degree. Similarly for this carbon atom. Okay. Second example is this. Okay, so what is the degree of this carbon atom? Degree of this carbon atom is 1 because the number of carbons directly attached to this carbon atom is only 1. Remember, this is not a carbon. So, if your, if your answer was or your thinking was 2 degree, then you are wrong here because this is a nitrogen atom. Similarly, the degree for this carbon atom is 1. Okay, now the third example is uh, we have something like CS3C triple bond HCH. Okay. So we are calculating the number of degree for this carbon atom. So number of degree, number of carbon atoms added to this carbon atom is one. So this degree is one. This degree is two, and this degree is one. Okay. So now let us discuss more about calculating the degree of alcohol. Okay. Alcohol. Uh, put it an extra C. Alcohol. Okay. For calculating the degree of alcohol, so what is the what is the, what is the degree of alcohol? What I mean by when I say that, what is the degree of alcohol? So let's say we have a compound something like this, CH two OH. Okay, so the degree of so first of all, let me define what is an alcohol. Alcohol nothing is nothing but uh, organic compound having a functional group called OH attached to the main carbon chain. So by R I mean any carbon chain. It can be CH3, CS, CH2, CS3 and so on. Right. So when a given carbon, when a given carbon chain actually has this OH as its functional group attached to a chain of carbon atoms then this is called alcohol okay so even if you don't understand the intricacies of how is alcohol formed or why are we naming this uh, the way we are naming this you have to wait and be a little more patient till we actually go into our next videos so i'll be definitely covering your doubts there and we'll try to answer all of your queries there right so okay so this was our compound so the degree of alcohol here means uh, what is the degree of carbon atoms what is the degree of the carbon atom directly attached to the oxygen atom in the OH group so this is the OH group so we need to calculate the degree of this OH group so we just have to calculate the degree of the carbon atom on which this O atom is directly attached to so the degree of this carbon atom is 2 degree no it's one degree why because the degree of this carbon atom to calculate the degree of this carbon atom we need to know what is the degree what how many number of carbon atoms are there which are directly attached to this carbon atom so the number of directly attached carbon atoms to this carbon atoms is only one so the degree of this carbon is one right so degree of the alcohol becomes one degree alcohol right similarly if you have, have something like this So what would be the degree of this OH group? The degree of this OH group would nothing be would be nothing but what is the degree of this carbon atom? And the degree of this carbon atom is one and two. So the degree of this alcohol is two. Okay. Now let us go into the third example. 
suppose we have something like this so we need to calculate what is the degree of this alcohol so degree of this alcohol directly depends on the degree of this carbon atom and the degree of this degree carbon atom depends on how many number of adjacent carbon atoms are there which is attached to this so the degree of this carbon atom is 3 hence the degree of this alcohol is also 3 okay so so just to just to summarize we can write that mm, degree of carbon attached with alcohol is the degree of alcohol okay um okay so let me define what is called the degree of alkyl halide also in this uh, tutorial so okay now we are looking into degree of uh, alkyl halide okay so the degree of alkyl halide is nothing but the degree of carbon attached with halide right so in the definition above given we can just directly replace that degree of carbon attached with halide is the degree of halide that simple right now for those who are wondering what is an halide why is talking about that or means what is that so halide is nothing but uh, any cl f chlorine fluorine iodine bromine group attached to the chain of organic compound is alkyl halide so this is the chain or more standard way i can write is write it as r so r if attached to any of this x groups is alkyl halide so any example for the alkyl halide many so ch3 ch2 cl this is a alkyl halide ch3 this one or this one so what is the degree of uh, uh, for the for, for the timing we are interested in calculating uh, calculating the degree of this alkyl halides right so as for the definition we can actually directly 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 say that the degree of this alkyl halide is one because the degree of this carbon atom is one similarly the degree of this carbon atom is two so degree of this alkyl halide is two degree of this carbon atom is three so degree of this alkyl halide is three okay now we delve into calculating the degree of amide degree of amide uh not amide degree of amine so what is an amine amine is nothing but a carbon chain attached with an ester group right so the definition of the degree of amine is slightly twisted and it is not the same as the as was with the case with the alcohol or al alkyl halide right so the degree of amine is actually the number of carbon atoms or the number of less number of hydrogen it has substituted with itself right so what is that which i want to convey here is let's suppose in this example we have number of carbon atoms directly attached to this nitrogen atom as 1 so degree of this amine would be 1 
if I have something like this then also though this is a 2 degree carbon this is a 1 degree carbon it's still the number of nit carbon atoms directly attached to this nitrogen atom is 1 so the degree of this nitrogen atom would be still be 1 ok similarly when I say what is what will the degree of this amine again though the degree of this carbon atom is 3 but number of carbon atoms directly attached to this nitrogen atom is 1 so it is also 1 degree amine ok so let us see some more examples on calculating the degree of amine so conversely as I, as I, as I mentioned earlier how many less number of nitro hydrogen atoms are there uh, attached with the nitrogen atom also determines the degree of the amine so by that I mean that let's say number of carbon atoms directly attached to this nitrogen atoms are 2 so the degree of 2 and how many how many less number of uh, hydrogen atoms are there attached to this nitrogen atom these are there are w there is one less number of nitrogen atom attached to this so we can calculate it as 3 minus number of hydrogen atoms attached to the nitrogen atom so in this case with the formula it comes as 3 minus 1 is 2 so from here also and we can see that the degree of this amine is 2 and if we directly calculate the number of carbon atoms directly attached to the hydrogen uh, to the nitrogen atom from that also we can see that the degree of the nitrogen atom or the amine comes out to be 2 right one more example can be what is the degree of amine here degree of amine here is 3 what is the degree of amine here degree here is 2 what is the degree here degree here is 1 what is the degree here degree here is again 1 so by this we come to the end of the session and in next session or in the next video tutorial I will be I will be giving you some more examples and some more problems on how to calculate the degree of uh, hydrogen and the degree of carbon in uh, any given compound ok bye